Hi, this is Greg from Reflections Detailing. Detailimage.com, Ask a Pro blog member. Today I want to talk about cleaning your pads. There's some different ways to do that and I want to show you today how I think I, I found one of the better ways to clean your pads. The equipment you're going to need for this is you're going to need some pads, some dirty pads, which you'll definitely have if you're polishing paints. You want a good scrub brush. This is the Tough Shine scrub brush. It's not too stiff. It's not too soft. It seems to be about the right stiffness in order to clean things without destroying your foam pads. It works really well with the microfiber pads. It also works really well with the foam pads. I've used it on, on as soft as red foam pads. You want an APC, and this is just a generic APC that I have in here. Works to clean it. The reason you don't, well, in my opinion, the reason you don't want to use something as such as Dawn is that Dawn has rinsing agents and other heavy-duty kinds of cleaners in it that seem to leave a residue behind. I've seen some pads kind of uh, leave a haze, and I'm kind of attributing it to that. So I haven't had the problem when I clean it this way that I have when I've cleaned it some of the traditional ways. So give it a try and see what you think. So those are the, the, the pieces of equipment that you're going to need in order to clean these pads. I love my three basin sink here. I can soak towels and everything to get things uh, ready to be washed. So what I end up doing is I end up getting these fairly wet to try to get on any of the heavy debris off, give them a good scrub here, let it soak for a second, give it a good scrub with some warm water, let those sit, then I spray it with my APC, let it sit, spray it with my APC, let it sit. Now normally you might let these sit for a little while uh, to clean, for the purpose here I'll just go ahead and start to clean that. And uh, they need to sit a little bit longer but we'll see. So I give them a good scrub going from the center out, trying to remove any of the debris. Give a good scrub here. Give my scrub to the outside. Looks like it needs a little more APC. And then I give them, I let them sit for a little while. So that's what we would do. Okay, we've let them sit for a little while, let them scrub, you know, just kind of do their thing. This is one that I've gotten uh, pretty clean. Uh, it took about two different times to wash this, probably because I was rushing it for this video, but this is what we started out with. This is what we ended up with. So we can take this, we can scrub this, you can massage this a little more, give it a little more agitation. Nothing like agitation, a little hot water in order to loosen things up. But you can just see the gray material, the polishing agent, the polishing media coming right out of this sucker. And uh, you get this nice and clean. Leaves the fibers pretty soft. So the, the fibers were soft to start with, especially on these microfibers. And uh, using this brush seems to really pull it out of any of those fingers, so to speak, on that microfiber uh, pad. So, if we take a look at this, it probably needs one more. It needs a little another one. Probably can't see that on camera. One more hit. Anyway, I really like this uh, method. I think it does a pretty decent job. Um, I don't get the polishing kind of haze that I sometimes did when I used the Dawn or some of the other kind of soap, so to speak, to clean. A lot of people are really worried about um, will the, the backing glue uh, come undone. I've never had one come undone that I could attribute to cleaning them in this method. Usually they come undone from uh, the heat that's generated sometimes between the backing plate and the pad, but I've never had one just kind of delaminate because of the APC that was used, even with some good strength APC. So anyway, hope that helps. Talk to you later.